or law of substitution. So this law states that all consumers want to achieve maximum satisfaction with limited resources as per law of equal marginal utility or law of substitution all consumers want to achieve maximum satisfaction with the limited resources Economics is a study of human behavior with reference to unlimited wants, limited resources, resources having alternative uses and the consumer has to make a choice how to make use of those resources to get maximum satisfaction. According to law of equal marginal utility or law of substitution, all consumers want to achieve maximum satisfaction with limited resources. Now how they can achieve this? As I said, consumer has to make choice to spend his limited resources in such a way where he can get the maximum satisfaction. Now how he can get the maximum satisfaction? So a rational consumer would like to allocate his resources to get maximum satisfaction. Let us see the table. How the consumer will spend the money he has with him? So he will spend the money as under. If he can buy only one unit of a commodity, of different commodities, only one unit of different commodities, then he would like to purchase the first unit of first unit in the form of wheat, because this gives him the maximum marginal utility. So he gets. 40 marginal utility by spending first unit of money. He will not spend this first unit of money in purchasing sugar or in purchasing milk. Why? Because he would like to get maximum utility, maximum marginal utility that gives him maximum satisfaction. So his first unit of money, it will be spent on purchasing wheat. Now if he has two units of money how he will spend so second unit he will purchase sugar so with the first unit he will purchase wheat with the second unit of money he would purchase sugar in this way his total satisfaction will be 78 so 40 plus 38 now if he has third unit of money what will he do so with first unit of money he would purchase wheat with second unit he would purchase sugar with third unit he may purchase either wheat or he may purchase milk depending upon his preference so he may prefer to buy one unit of milk or he may prefer to buy another unit of wheat because in this case the marginal utility from wheat and marginal utility from milk is equal so if he purchases milk or second unit of wheat his total satisfaction will be 114 so 40 plus 38 plus 36 it gives him 114 If he could buy 4 units, which one he will purchase? 
four units of money. In that case, the first unit he will spend on wheat, second on sugar, third on wheat, milk, and fourth on wheat. In that case, his total utility will be equal to 150. Now, this combination will give him the maximum satisfaction. And this is due to the fact that he will choose a combination where marginal utility from the purchased unit is equal. Equal marginal utility. So marginal utility here from milk and marginal utility from wheat is equal. So he would like to go for this combination. No other combination will give him the maximum satisfaction, this much satisfaction. So according to law of equal marginal utility, the consumer will go for purchase of that combination of goods and services where his marginal utility is equal. So this law is also known by falling names. It is called law of substitution. It is also called law of consumption. It is also called law of maximum satisfaction. Law of economy. Law of indifference. So this is also called second law of H. H. Gossin or second law of Gossin. Gossin's first law was law of diminishing marginal utility.